G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to The 80 Show. Now I suppose many of you are wondering if Now and Then is not the last Beatles song, what could be the next? That's right guys, today I'll be talking about a song that many people on the planet have never heard. And uh, guys, you never know, this could just be the next song in line that the Beatles release. If you want the lowdown, stay tuned for more. The new Beatles track, Now and Then, has literally taken the world by storm. And usually when a band scores a hit, they are quick to follow things up with something else to capitalise on the buzz. In the case of Now and Then, this is the Beatles' first hit in decades. And of course, two band members are sadly deceased. So it is not as if they can get back in the studio and start recording immediately. However, a prolific band such as the Beatles must still have some old songs gathering dust somewhere. Case in point, a 1967 song called Carnival of Light. This unreleased avant-garde recording runs for nearly 14 minutes and contains experimental sounds that I'm sure would be an enticing listen for Beatles enthusiasts. It is common knowledge that the song was only played publicly at the Million Volt Light and Sound Rave in Camden in 1960. And unfortunately, the Beatles were not even in attendance to hear the song's reception. I've heard from collectors that the song has shown up on some bootlegs over the years, but I must say, I've still never heard it. I'm sure with today's technology, Carnival of Light could most definitely be restored, and like now and then, I'm sure it would score big in the marketplace. Word is that in 1996, Paul McCartney was hoping to include it on the Beatles Anthology 2 album, but the idea was vetoed by George Harrison, who felt it was way too indulgent. In a 2004 interview, McCartney confirmed that he still owned the master tapes and he would love for the track to see the light of day. But he faced a dilemma as he would require the consent of Ringo Starr, Yoko Ono and George's widow, Olivia Harrison, before moving forward with the release of the track. Fast forward to 2016 and McCartney was still toying with the idea of releasing it. In fact, when the 50th anniversary of Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band came out in 2017, many fans were expecting that Carnival of Light may show up as a bonus track. But it disappointingly didn't, so fans are still desperately waiting for it to surface. With now and then reigniting interest in the Beatles, Carnival of Light seems right for the picking. But whether McCartney can get clearance for its release continues to be a problematic hurdle that may be near impossible to overcome. Whatever the case, McCartney continues to state that he finds Carnival of Light extremely interesting, as there is no other instance of the Beatles going avant-garde. I'm sure Beatles fans would love to get a taste of what Paul has described. Well, guys, it was an absolute pleasure reflecting on Carnival of Light. I mean, I've never heard this song, and I'm sure many of you haven't. I mean, it was played once, as I said, and uh, guys, whew, I mean, it's just disappeared. But Paul McCartney really wants this song to see the light of day. And uh, guys, if Paul thinks it's cool, I'm sure many of you out there that love the Beatles will really like to hear this song today. So uh, who knows, guys, now and then could lead to Carnival of Light. Fingers crossed. But uh, if McCartney is really enthusiastic about this one, I can only hope that it will one day come out in its full splendor. So guys, let's keep a look out for Carnival of Light. I'm sure there are some rumblings and uh, guys, maybe McCartney's just staying tight-lipped. Who knows, I mean, he's talked about this for many years, but uh, guys, Giles Martin could be the man. He could say, look, Paul, 
now's the time and we might get another christmas gift next year so guys more to come i'm sure for the beatles and guys if you haven't seen all of my beatles videos i have a nice little playlist there so definitely go and watch that playlist if you want more so guys tell me in the comments below what you've heard about carnival of light do you think this song will eventually come out in some form? I mean, I've heard that there are a few bootlegs out there, but guys, I've been looking for them and I think that they're actually fakes. So tell me what you know about the song in the comments below and tell me guys, do you want another Beatles track? I mean, I'm sure many of you out there just can't get enough. This has me fired up, guys. I want to hear more, and I definitely would love to hear a remastered version of Carnival of Light. I think it will be something else. I mean, it's experimental, but experimental sometimes leads to greatness. So, guys, it was great talking about Carnival of Light, and you will see me again very soon. But until then, please... Please like, comment and subscribe and keep watching the 80s show because you will never know what is going to pop up next. Until next time, this is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and just as intriguing as the new Beatles song. Please subscribe and good night viewers.